So you want to install iTunes on Mac OS. You've come to the right place. In this video, I will show you how to install iTunes on your Mac OS. Whether you're using Mac OS Sonoma, Ventura, Monterey, Big Sur, or Catalina, this guide will work. First, open your preferred web browser. In this example, I'm using Brave. Next, type Retroactive iTunes in the address bar and hit Enter. In the search results, click on the first link. You should be redirected to the official GitHub page of Retroactive. I will leave the page link in the description of the video. Next, click on the blue download button in the middle of the README section and save the file to your desired location. The download should start automatically. Once the download is complete, open your downloads folder and locate the Retroactive zip file. Double click on it to extract the zip file. Once the extraction is finished, you should get a new folder called Retroactive. Open this folder, you should see two files, the retroactive main file and the documentation. Next, double click on the retroactive main file to open it. However, since it's an app downloaded from the internet, macOS might block it initially. If you see a warning message saying retroactive can't be opened because it is from an unidentified developer, don't worry, just click cancel. To bypass this, go to your system preferences, click on security and privacy, then go to the General tab. At the bottom, you'll see a message about Retroactive. Click Open Anyway. Another confirmation dialog will appear. Click Open. Retroactive should now launch without any issues. On the Retroactive Get Started screen, you should see three apps. Aperture, iPhoto, and iTunes. Click on Install iTunes, then click Continue. On the Authentication screen, Click on the Authenticate blue button. Next, enter your security password to start the installation process. The installation process will take a few minutes, so please wait a bit. Once the installation process is finished, click on the Enable Full Disk Access button so that you can sync with iPod devices. A new Security and Privacy pop-up should open. Next, enter your security password, then select and drag the Drag Me little pop-up to the list this process will add iTunes to the list. Once finished, close the retroactive pop-up. Now, open your Applications folder and find iTunes. Double-click on the iTunes icon to launch the application. You may be prompted to accept the license agreement. Click Agree to proceed. Congratulations! You have successfully installed iTunes on your Mac. You can now start enjoying your favorite music, movies, and more. Thanks for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials and tips. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll be happy to help.